Good afternoon and good morning to everyone uh, joining us today for the first of three webinars uh, we're running over the next week. Just to give you all a glimpse of the power of Figured and how it can be used to help your clients and ultimately help grow your practice. Uh, my name is um, Scott Lingard. I'm the Business Development Manager for Australia, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to today's session. So joining me today on this webinar is uh, Tara Broben, our Customer Success Specialist here in Australia, uh, Andy Drinkwater, our Partner Success Specialist, and Mr. John Gibson, our General Manager for Australia and New Zealand. So it's good to have uh, a number of our team with us on this call today. As I mentioned earlier, today is the first webinar in a series of three over the next week. So today we are focusing on um, how Figured can help uh, simplify compliance for your clients. Um, and our session on Thursday, will look at the planning tools available in Figured. And next Tuesday, we'll, we'll have a look at the exciting new developments at Figured and our Insights platform, which is a great tool to help your advisory services. So make sure you're booked in for those two sessions if you haven't already. Um, we might just head back up to that slide. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Tara. Um, we've worked hard and are continuing to work hard to make figure the best in-class product fit for agribusiness in Australia. And we've been doing this quietly in the background, but we have the results on the board from the numbers of farms using Figured through their advisors to our multiple successes as a Zero App Partner Award winner. And our integration with Zero is, is obviously significant to this, and it means that there is access to whole flow of financial information relating to your clients' businesses through the direct bank feeds into Zero, and our integration with Zero across their ledger, cash book, and business editions. The information then flows into our suite of products, giving farmers and their advisors like yourselves immediate access to their financial data for better decision making. So using Figured with Zero allows for integrated compliance, simplifying those processes, which we'll talk about today, provides unified advisory. So our planning tools and ability to track actuals against plans and um, full reporting are strong points of difference and add value to the advisory services offered by your practices and our ability to provide out of the box business intelligence, giving access to on-demand analysis to provide benchmarks and look at a range of scenarios for clients is really a world first in agribusiness. So these three components that we'll cover over the webinars over this week are at the core of Figured and really do see us as the best in class solution for agribusiness in Australia. So what we're gonna to cover today for you, which is on the next slide there, is how we integrate with Zero and automatically make zero data available in Figured. How Figured uses that information in a way that avoids time consuming workarounds. How Figured can help you to easily add value to compliance data. And what we hope you'll take away from, set, from this session and the potential challenges we believe we can solve for you, are how you can become an integrated zero practice and move away from farming workarounds. How statement of position can help you at tax time and advising your clients and how our compliance capability can be a gateway to higher value services. So what Tara, who will be leading the demonstration today, will cover in this demonstration is how easily Figured integrates with Zero and how to set that up, what information we get from Zero, how you can use that information to drive efficiency into agri-compliance services, how it can easily add value on top of that information. So that includes trading statements, production reports, statement of position reporting, what information you can take back into Zero and how to do that, how you can easily set up from a compliance subscription to an advisory subscription and open up additional revenue. And that's, um, we'll be touching on that today, but covering that more in the second webinar coming up on Thursday. So with that, I'm going to hand over to uh, Tara shortly to lead us through the, the demo. But before that, um, during the session, if you've got any questions, please put them down in the Q&A um, button down at the bottom of your screen there. Um, and Andy and John will jump on and answer in real time as we go through. And then there'll be a chance for, some, for us to answer some more Q&As at the end of the actual um, uh, webinar today. So... Over to you, Tara, to do the demo for, for everyone. So welcome. Thanks, Scott. I briefly lost internet connection there, so sorry for the jumble of the slides there. Um, but hi, everyone. Um, I'm Tara. I'm from the customer success team here at Figured. Um, as Scott has mentioned, I'm going to show you how Figured can help you drive greater compliance efficiencies and automate um, your compliance obligations 
with your uh, with your clients. So you should be able to see my screen now, Scott. Is that right? You can see my screen. Oh, good. Perfect. Cool. All right. So everyone should be able to see my demo figured farm now. So we are looking at my demo Western wheat, um, and we are looking at at my farm's trackers. So this is where we manage the production of the farm and all of the information is gonna be entered in here. So before um, I come back to this, I'll just quickly run through the navigation. So the figured light subscription is set up into five key areas. So we've got operations. Um, so this is where we will track all of what's happening on the farm um, and you'll find your trackers within here. We've got allocations um, where we can allocate your expenses that are coming through from zero to a particular farming operation. Um, and that's really great for detailed reporting around production performance. And then we have reports, accounting and the settings section. So as part of this demonstration, I will come back and touch on all of those. So as a starting point, I think um, we'll start with settings. Um, and I'd like to give some context around how Figured works with Zero. So typically what would happen um, is that the farming op operation would be set up on Zero first. Um, so Ledger, Cashbook plus GST or Business Edition. So once they're all set up there, that's when we can look to set up a Figured Light subscription. So as part of our setup wizard, we're able to connect directly through to that zero file and start exchanging that information between both platforms. So what we're looking at now is settings. And I just want to show you how we can check the zero, um, the zero integration um, with uh, Figured. So there's two ways that we can do that. We can come into settings, we can click on zero connection, or you can see this zero icon down the bottom here, um, which will also take you to the same page. So what we're looking at here is, is that we've got a successful connection to my figured demo Western Wheat, um, and we can go ahead and run a sync at any time. So figured um, will automatically sync with zero. However, if you are jumping in and entering a lot of data into zero, um, you can jump in here and run a manual sync um, whenever you'd like. So just through here. So let's jump back into the trackers. So a farm's trackers are relative to the farming type. So my demo farm is a mixed farming operations. So we can see that we have a mix of crops and livestock trackers set up. Um, so for our crop trackers, we have them set up for each season. So I've got one for my 21 season and then one for my 22 season. Um, and we also have a beef um, tracker set up as well as a sheep on this farm. Um, and we also have the product tracker. So the product tracker is where you can store your crop harvest before you sell them. You can allocate materials and purchase that you've made to your farm, towards your farming operation and store them in here before you use them. So that'll all sit in there. Um, and then I'd also like to point out that at any time you can come up here and you can create a new tracker. Um, as you can see, there is quite um, a lot of options there. So let's jump down into our allocator. So the allocator, um, you can see you've got transactions sitting through here. So these are all pulled straight through from zero. So the allocator tool is where you can come and allocate specific transactions to a particular operation. So from within the allocator, you can come across here, you can click allocate, um, you can click add allocation, and then you can go and allocate it to a specific tracker or to the product tracker straight through here. Um, you also have the ability to distribute um, how if you'd like but use this allocator feature but it is there if you are wanting to add value on top of your live subscription and start working with your clients around their production performance. Another feature of the allocator is that we can come up and set rules um, so this is really geared to kind of automate this process so you've got regular transactions coming through and you know where they need to go you can come in here and allocate them or dismiss them through the allocation rules. Super simple. So we're going to jump down now into the report section. So one of the key features of the figured light is our uh, suite of financial reports. So we have 
financial reports, as you can see, we've got production reports, tracker reports, and then we've got those end of um, financial year trading statements. So in particular for the Australian market, one of our key reports here is the statement of financial position. So this is a feature that is very unique to the figured light subscription, but figured in general. So the statement of financial position isn't a report that's natively available in Xero. And typically for those Xero practices that are supporting farming clients, if those clients aren't on Xero, or if they are on Xero, but they're not on a figured light subscription, but there is a need to be reporting on the financial position for say banks, those firms are then typically going to have to come up with some sort of workaround. So this could mean managing and creating a statement of position uh, in, Excel, in Excel, for example. But with the figured light subscription, you don't have to be doing that as we're fully integrated with Xero. So we have the ability to be pulling in that transactional data straight through from zero. So including the balance sheet information, we're able, you're able to manage and produce the statement of financial position directly within your figured subscription. So you can be taking that into your annual account conversations with your clients. And if also requested, you can be providing that to the banks on behalf of your clients. So if we're looking at this report now, if you have a request from your client or your client's bank to be providing an update on their financial position, you can jump into this report. You have the ability, if we click additional options, we have the, uh, the ability to select a custom period. So we can jump in here. And then I guess for an example sake, we can look at November. So we're gonna grab November. We have the ability to run a comparison period. So if we wanna compare this to what happened say last year in November, we can and we can show a variance and run this report. So Figured's gonna automatically generate the variance for you um, and all the figures will pull through here. So what we can do from here is if we go up and share report, Figured has the option to save this report. So we can go ahead and save this. And what's gonna happen is Figured's gonna take um, a photo or a copy of this report. And what's going to allow you to do is jump in here. And if there's any particular figures that you want to highlight or you have questions about, you can jump in and it's as simple as clicking on the figure. And it allows you to come in and place a comment um, and as many comments as you like. You can go up and you can give it a custom title if you'd like. Um, but the cool key feature here is you can now go and share that. So say you're needing to provide this to the, your client's bank, you can come in here and you can find who you need to send it to within the organization, or you can enter an email address if they're outside. Um, and you have the ability to provide any notes or add anything you'd like in here and click share. And so Figured's gonna automatically send that one off from here, which is super quick. Um, so if we jump back into the reports now, what's also um, key to point out is anytime you do save a report, Figured's going to keep a copy of it. So they're all sitting down the side here. So you can go back and view that at any time. If we're looking at other reports that are available um, that are worth pointing out, we have our production reports, um, which means you guys can be having detailed conversation around production performance with your clients, um, as well as livestock and cropping trading statements, which you could be using to produce as a part of your um, end of financial year reporting. So you can be generating those straight from your figured light subscription and you can be dropping those into your annual account report packs that you have sitting on zero side. So, so um, there's lots of options there. So if we also just, I'll just point out the accounting section. Um, so one of the features of this section is that we have the financial position. So this is where you can be working directly with your client's financial position. So you'd come into here to manage um, asset and liability information um, that we're obviously pulling through from zero. So we can represent that that's a market value on the figured side. And then we're using this information to be producing that statement of financial position. Um, so we can all come and do that through here. The other key thing is valuations. So I won't touch on this now or come back, um, but the valuations does sit under accounting. So from here, I'd like to walk you through the three-step process for completing your end of year process for your client. So we're gonna head back up to the trackers, up to operations and into trackers. So I'm gonna have a little bit more of a detailed look um, around how the trackers work and how they integrate with Xero for reconciling. 
So, and this will be the, the first step, um, which will be reconciling your trackers. So we're gonna be looking at my sheet tracker for the demonstration. So just before I get into the detail of how this sheet tracker works, I'm gonna pop up into the settings up here. And just once again, just highlight how Figured Light can um, integrate directly with Xero. So we're in my sheet tracker settings. We have the ability to select a payment period or terms for managing your invoices. You can set up your rations accounts through here um, and you can map, you can map your Xero um, accounts through here as well. Um, so my particular farm is a single sales and purchases account, but if you do have a farm that is operating with multiple stock classes, you can come and map those through here. So if you were running multiple stock classes, you would set those up on the zero side and they would pull through here. And if we scroll down, we can see we've got all of our stock classes down here. For my particular farm, we're running a single stock and it's mixed age use. So you can come in and have multiple. So just thought I'd show you that one. If we pop back into my shape tracker, I'm taking you the long way, I'm back into my shape tracker. Let's have a little look at the navigation of the shape tracker. So we have the ability to toggle in between other trackers just through here. We can see that if we had multiple stock classes where they would sit down the side here, um, we have the ability to view the planning grid in both a quantity or a dollar figure. So that's really just high level over the plant, um, over the sheep tracker. Um, the main thing I want to point out here for reconciling purposes is that we're getting these little warning signs that are appearing under both the purchases and corresponding under the sales. So what that means, if I click on it, it's going to tell me that I have unreconciled purchases in figure that need to be reconciled with purchases that are sitting on the zero side. So if I'm in this detailed view up here, it allows me to come down and click on the import from zero button. And what figure does is that it automatically will reach out to zero and pull through those unreconciled purchases. Um, and so they're pulling through here. So what we can see is I've got two purchases to pull through, one for 26 and one for 50 mixed aid use. So what I can do if I'm happy to reconcile these transactions, I can come through and individually click save changes or I can click save all. And what's going to happen is that Figured's going to automatically reconcile those transactions straight into my livestock tracker. So we can see that we've got the tick there and it's all good. So we can go ahead and do the same for the sales. So we're in the detailed view, we're coming down to import from zero and we can see that we've got four transactions sitting here. So if I come through, I can come through and click save. So it's a simple case when you are coding off those transactions on the zero side that we're making sure that we're entering the quantity of those transactions. So Figured will automatically pull them through and make them available on the Figured side. So if I go resolve now, this should tell me that I'm all good to go. So that's all good. That was super easy. You can go through and add into any of these cells, any births, any deaths, any rations or reconciling. But basically, this is complete now. So you, um, so this process can be really completed at any time. So if you're running a Figured Life subscription that is connected to a zero ledger, that would typically be a one-off process that you would do at the end of the financial year when you're finalising and preparing your farmer's annual accounts. If the Figured Light subscription is connected to a cash book plus GST, and we can get that transactional data through as it's being coded off on the zero side, you can be completing this exercise at any time um, in your Figured Light subscription. So that could be when you're engaging with your clients around statement of position or production reporting or running your periodic meetings, um, you can jump in here and track how your farm's performing. So this is the end of step one. So we have reconciled our livestock tracker, tracker. And the next step from here would be jumping into the valuations tab. So we're gonna go down to accounting and we're gonna click into valuations. So at the end of the financial year, you've completed your livestock reconciliation. This is the time that you jump into valuations. 
So the first thing that we want to do here would be jump into settings and make sure that we've mapped our accounts correctly and that we've set our valuation scheme up. I've already done that, but you would just jump into here. The next step would be to come across to end of year valuations. It's going to take us here. We're going to make sure we're in the right year that we're wanting to, to value. We can see that our stock is pulling through um, and we uh, can jump in to check the figures. So we can jump into update allocation. So what we're looking at here is it's going to show us our closing quantity. It's going to show us the amount we're allocating. It will automatically uh, calculate a value per head for you. You can view the automatic calculations here if you would like. It does give you the option if you want to override it to your own value, you can just come through, click this button and it will automatically override. So once we're happy with these figures, we can click save and go back. And we can see that this is all good to go. And when you're happy with it, we can go and click complete valuation. So this is going to automatically bring us to the journal posting where we can post manual journals to the respective valuation accounts in Xero with a simple click down here. So you can go ahead and do that. If you're not ready to do this, you can just click, click this step until a time is that you are. And what that's going to do, it's going to come in and it's going to lock off those valuations. So that's a really simple process. Um, and then that's step two. And the last one and the final step would be the process of running the end of year trading statements and getting your zero report pack ready. So to do that, we're going to jump back into reports. We're going to scroll down and we're going to go to the livestock trading statement. I'm going to click on this one. So we can choose the tracker that we're wanting to do. So we're gonna do sheep. We're gonna go for the 21 year and we can run that report. So once you're happy with all of these figures and everything looks good, it's just a matter of coming um, into share report. Before I show you how we can get this information into zero, I will point out again, you can use that same function with any of our reports in terms of saving and sharing. So if you want anyone to have a look at this before you can, you want to send it off, come in, save the report and share it, make any comments. If you are ready um, to finalize this and you have got your zero open up to your annual report pack for your particular client, you found the placeholder. It's as simple as coming here, copy to clipboard and jumping into zero and clicking paste. So the relationship that we have with Xero is quite unique, is that when we post this information into Xero, it's gonna be formatted exactly the same way as the rest of the information. So it's gonna look really seamless. So that's the end of the three-step process. Um, I really hope you found some value in that and how quick and easy this process can be for you. Um, and I'd just like to finish um, on letting you know, and what we'll talk to more in our next webinar series, is that you, if you are enjoying this Figured Light subscription with, and your farmer is having those questions with you around budgeting and planning, and there's any interest to kind of look at our financial farmer subscription, you can upgrade your subscription by coming down into the settings, coming across into the billing, and you have the ability to change your subscription um, and upgrade here. So that's the end of um, my demo. Um, I'm gonna hand it back over. Um, if there's any remaining questions that we have, we can answer those for you now, um, but I really appreciate, um, yeah, taking you through that. Thank you very much, Tara. And um, as you said, I hope everyone's um, been able to do that. And we've got a couple of questions come in that um, Andy sort of jumped on while we're, while uh, Tara's been speaking, but a few, uh, few others, and I might, um, throw to sort of John or Andy. I think Andy's typing a one at the minute. We've got one here and John, you might want to jump in on this one. I'll throw this one to you. Um, can they invite a farmer into a figured light subscription um, and for the farmer to actually have access on the report? Uh, yeah, I'm happy to pick that one up, Scott. And yes, that, that is um, absolutely possible to light, uh, invite um, a farmer uh, into a figured light um, subscription. Um, it's not a, a typical use case for, for figured light, given that figured light is predominantly used inside um, the practice for you know, managing the livestock reconciliation, the valuation process, and the trading statements re reports that, uh, that that Tara took you through. But 
um, you know, as that kind of opens up more opportunities for you to be engaging with your farmer around things like statement of position, uh, production tracking reporting, that kind of stuff, then um, absolutely the opportunity might present itself for you to invite um, the farmer in. Um, and you can also invite the farmer in uh, on certain permission levels. So, you know, if you didn't want them kind of <laughs> getting too uh, fiddly and, and uh, playing around with, with any of the numbers, then you can just give them view only access. Um, and that'll enable them to kind of see the information that's there, um, enable you to kind of share information easily out to them, uh, such as the reporting share uh, feature that Tara took you through. So um, long answer to the question, but absolutely, yes, you can invite a farmer into the Figured Light subscription. Right, thanks for that. Um, I think probably one other, one other question that's come through, and I can probably jump on this one, is around onboarding and training. Uh, is the support available? And, and we do tend to look at doing that. If you bring 20 or more clients onto the Figured Light um, product, we'll provide um, support with the setup of that light subscription, including loading, opening balances, and also provide some onboarding and training for your team as well. So there is a level of support that is available in the, the more clients you bring across. Um, but in saying that, when you look at our product, we have our green bubble, as we call it, with our uh, customer support team, which Tara is a part of, and they're very proactive and um, great at turning around responses and helping you through um, any issues you may have as you as you sort of having a look through figures. So there's um, quite a way ways we can help uh, people there. So I'm sort of mindful of the time and um, I think Andy's jumped on a couple of other questions there and we may make them sort of available to people um, as we go, there's a, a question in relation to the recommended chart of accounts that should be set up. And we've got information in our help center there where we have a number of helpful articles about how to set everything up within Figured uh, and Zeros there. And we've got a um, chart of accounts that you can download there available from the help center. So um, there, we've, I think we've covered off a range of things there. And looking at the time, we obviously want to not keep everyone too much longer today. So I think that's probably it for the questions, unless there's any more come in, which it doesn't look like there is. So as we've we've said multiple times, um, we've got our rest of our webinar series, but if you wanna get more information, please feel free to reach out to myself or Tara, or as I mentioned, go through our website and use the green chat bubble to talk with us. Uh, the next webinar is on Thursday at the same time, same place. Uh, Agri planning tools, so adding value through integrated planning. Um, and so we, we're looking forward to welcoming you to that one. Also check out our website. Um, we've got multiple resources there and stories of uh, um, success stories and those who've been able to um, really make the most of their using Figured for their clients and for their, themselves. And we've got a number of two minute video overview videos there as well. So you can jump on and have a look at those. Um, so yeah, I think if we jump, I think that's probably everything for this afternoon uh, and this morning. As I said, the webinars are coming up. If you haven't got those locked in, locked them in today. Um, and if you need more information, please drop myself or Tara a line and we'll be more than happy to help you out. And then, yeah, I think, thank you everyone for coming. Um, we've, uh, hopefully this has been helpful to you and you've appreciated seeing uh, a demonstration of Figured. And we will um, look forward to welcoming you on our next webinar on Thursday at 11 a.m. in the West, 1 p.m in Queensland and 2 p.m. daylight saving time. And I'm trying not to figure out what the time is in South Australia because there's too many time zones for me. <laughs> but thank you everyone for joining us. Uh, thank you, Tara, for your uh, demonstration day. And we look forward to meeting with you all sometime again soon and speaking with you very soon. Thank you.